Hey, Valerie Hayes is here. She is the SC Tucker Business Service Services Manager. Welcome to you. Thank, Thank you. you for being Thank here. You. Uh, you and I were talking about it is a seller's market right now. And it if you're thinking is. about putting your home up for sale, this is a segment for you because there's really some things to keep in mind as far as, you know, updates, management, contractors. We're going to need these people in our lives soon enough. You are definitely going to need a contractor when you are thinking about listing your home. There are so many yeah, different, just reasons, different reasons right? that you yeah. need them. There could be minor to major repairs. And I would talk to your agent and ask them, you know, these are the items that I think need to be done. These are small. These are big. Which do I get the best return on my investment for? Because okay. they are a great resource for that type of information. Do a lot of homeowners overlook these types of things? Oh, sure thinking, they do. I would imagine one of, the, one of the top mistakes, maybe. Well, and just doing maintenance on your own home. Mm -hmm. like everybody doesn't think to change their air conditioning and heating. Right. You know, they just don't think of, of the servicing and doing all of that all of the time. So yes, when okay. they get to come and list, then there's a whole section of items that need to be done. Well, and one of the second things you talk about is once the offer is accepted, a lot of times it has to go through a professional inspection. So it that's does. another thing to keep in mind. It does. There's a couple of items there. So when your house has an accepted offer, mm -hmm. they are the, the buyer is going to have a professional inspection done, which will then have a buyer's response of these items is what the buyer wants to have done okay. before the, the, the sale is done. So it's a great idea to have a contractor on hand that you can rely on, that will do it quickly and to the satisfaction of both the buyer and the seller so that the, right. the sale so the could process, happen. Yeah, yes. can go through. Yes. What's number three? The three um, types of, like who, who calls us Yeah, most? I guess number three, you said, you know, you might need somebody specific. I know sometimes people use general contractors, yes, but we, maybe you need to hone in on an expertise <laughs> perhaps. No, honestly, the three areas that people call us the most for are the contractors, general handyman type people, okay, and then the um, professionals that do mechanical, the air conditioning, heating, wiring, plumbing. Those are three hot topics that mm -hmm. people need done. And then just the general services of a carpet cleaner, a locksmith, flooring. It, it's just a wide right. variety of really the most common questions we get. But that contractor handyman is really the key to have. It's a big one. Yes. Do you, what do you think is the best way? Because Tracy and I were talking about this. You see chatter pages all over in certain towns asking for people, asking for recommendations. But if you are getting ready to go through this process yourself, what's the best way to find those one, two, three people that you're probably going to need? Well, for us, we have FC Tucker Home Services, which is a list of vendors oh, that people okay, can come to handy. and use as a resource to find vendors that mm -hmm. we have on our in our program. Okay, that's easy enough. It is easy. Is there a lot when people start doing this process? I would imagine that they think, "I didn't realize that there was this." Yeah, I didn't people realize. do not. Have what, what What do you see? Because I, I've not I've gone through buying a home, but I've not gone through selling a home, and I would imagine the list is a lot longer than what you first anticipate. <laughs> that is definitely yeah. true. And really, it's just having that vendor, and, and there are several of them, that it's a one-stop shop that you can say, oh my gosh, I have 15 items to do, who can help me? Yeah. And there are many vendors who can work that, help that seller okay. and get them through that selling process. That, that's a good um, way to be prepared, maybe go through that before well, you start that selling is your a house very, and getting a in pre, a perfect world, right? Well, <laughs> a pre-inspection and having and knowing what you are looking at uh -huh. is a fantastic idea okay. for sellers to do. Great idea. And I know that you guys have a lot on your website too. Talk to Tucker.com slash talk. So we'll put that on our website, indiestyle.tv. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for having all me. Of the good tips. Thank all right, you. Tracy, and over to you. Yeah, get a pro, not Joe's yeah. cousin. Joe Schmo, right? Unless I Joe's cousin unless I Joe's cousin Joe is a pro. Oh, she has fine. Joe Schmo. <laughs> Coming up in the next half hour.